When teenagers start to see inequities in some of the larger problems in the world, many want to help find solutions, and I find that even more so these days. But as parents, how do we help channel that energy into positive outlets and meaningful pathways for youth activism? Laura Pellegrini and Stefano DeFray are co-directors of the documentary short film, The Day I Had to Grow Up. They're here with what they found in their work. Good morning to both of you. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. I have a teenager myself, um, and I find that their generation is very active in their community these days. And I find that the title of your film, it hits it right on the money. The Day I Had to Grow Up. How did you come up with that title, and what was your passion for creating this film? So I, I think that there's a transition that when youth happens, you realize that the world is different than sort of the shelter and the way that Bingo. you... Mm -hmm. grew up, right? Yes. So, uh, so, so there are some watershed moments. For some people, I think in Laura and I generation, it was 9-11. Definitely. And I think for a lot of the kids that we had talked to, it was uh, a lot of the school shootings, Parkland in particular, which is highlighted in the film. So that would be the, the really beginning of it. And our title just came from a very personal place. We wanted to know these individuals, these activists on a personal level beyond just seeing them from a, a an agenda point of view, right? Sure, and and you and that's such a transition as what you're just talking about, that watershed moment. They have to grow up. So let's give parents the tools that they need in order to make that transition, because it can go either way. It can go in right. a negative way, or we can channel that into something positive. Your first tip here is to get organized. Expand on that. So I think the first thing is to find out like-minded people in those individuals. Now it can be schools. Schools, churches, uh, town halls. I mean, really any, anything within a, a town or community that's that's accessible for, for youth to find those like-minded activists and really connect with people that are passionate about the same issues that they are. Yeah, you want to be able to have um, a personal understanding of your local community so that you can affect change on the local level. That's okay, you give a couple of ways to do that. First of all is read because education is so important. I think to add to that reading is also to interview and talk to people who That's are amazing. experiencing these um, hardships as well. And you also say something that's very interesting to me and it's run for office. Laura, can you tell us exactly what you mean for that? Because you don't necessarily mean go out and, and go start no. making your pitch for president right now. <laughs> not yet. Not, not yet, yet. Not yet. Not yet. I talk about this all the time. You know, even though, you know, these kids aren't going to run for Congress necessarily. Um, that doesn't mean that they can't run for class president or start their own school association. Right. Or, you know, even like you said, just just um, spearheading, maybe getting a, a local press involved to give their cause more amplification um, in whatever leadership role to give them that sense of responsibility and mentoring others to then understand a cause better and, and how to you know, make that message known to other people. And that also has to come more. from passion, right, Stefano? That has to come from passion. So it's really important to find out what a, a, a youth's passion is and what their talents are. Yeah, so, you know, if you're somebody who is uh, personally affected by disabilities or by, you know, perhaps uh, you're into environmental movements and you want to clean up plastics out of the ocean, it's really important when you begin as a social activist, as a young person, to find out what moves you on a personal level rather than the trends of the day. There are a lot of political news cycles of trends mm -hmm. that happen. And so when you find out what you're personally passionate about, that can extend over a long period of time to affect change. To find out about those trends too, our first partner here in California, Jennifer Siebel Newsom, she creates a lot of documentaries. And that's something that you guys suggest that you sh youth should do also, is watch documentaries. What can be gained from that? Well, uh, on, especially with our documentary, you start to, the day I had to grow up, you start to see the aspects of many individuals and ha not only um, what they're, how they're affecting change, but also what their life is like. Mm -hmm. Documentaries have a powerful tool because they, they put you inside the, the, the personhood mm -hmm. of, of someone and that can show you what they're living on a day-to-day -day ba basis. I mean, policy and work and activism yeah. has ups and it has downs yeah. and documentaries really focus on the personal. And I, 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 think too, I think too, kids, they need a reminder that there are other kids like them 
that mm -hmm. you know they they have they have obstacles that they too need to overcome mm -hmm. and they also need to understand practically how to build towards making a change like the how is always the kind of overlying thing yeah. that kids struggle with you know so it's important that they look at those documentaries as a source of inspiration Amazing, wonderful, positive ideas for youth activism. Laura Pellegrini and Stefano DeFray, the co-directors of The Day I Had to Grow Up. Thank you so much for your important work and for sharing it with us. We're going to go on and watch the film on Tubi. I've seen parts of it. Fantastic work. Thank you so much to both of you for what you're doing in, in bringing a youth activism in a positive light to not only our community, but to the world as well. Take care, both of you, in beautiful Boynton Beach, Florida. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much.